This video is intended to give you a general understanding of how to perform certain adjustments or replacement procedures related to the steering system. This video, like the service manuals, is intended to be used as a reference by mechanics who have been trained to repair and service steering systems used on commercial vehicles. Prior to making a repair, refer to the appropriate service manual for additional information. Service-related information may be found on our website at www.trucksteering.com. Take all the necessary precautions to ensure both your safety and the safety of others around you. If you are not sure how to perform a procedure, consult your authorized TRW technical representative. Make sure axle stops and poppets are set correctly before beginning this procedure. When using a poppet adjusting screw and nut, the slotted or Allen drive end of the screw must not go below the face of the nut. Failing to keep it flush with the face of the nut will cause the poppet seat flange to break. Do not hold the steering wheel at full turn when instructed for more than 10 seconds at a time. The heat buildup at pump relief pressure could damage system components. During the procedure, do not allow the fluid level to drop significantly or run low in the reservoir. This may introduce air into the steering system. If air is detected in the steering system, find and correct the source of the air entering the system before attempting this procedure. Setting Poppets, TAS, THP, and PCF series steering gears. Set the parking brake on the vehicle and block the rear wheels. Raise the front end off the ground. Take the vehicle out of gear and put it into neutral position. Raise the hood and place a drip pan under the steering gear to catch the oil. When a TRW steering gear is manufactured, both poppet seats are in their fully extended position. With the poppets in the fully extended position, Setting poppets on a new or remanufactured genuine TRW steering gear is simple. Set the axle stops to the required position and raise the front axle so that the weight of the vehicle is off of the front steer tires. Start the engine and let idle. While the engine is idling, steer the vehicle in full right and full left turns, applying approximately 40 pounds of force to the rim of the steering wheel at the end of travel in each direction. Turning the steering wheel to full ends of travel in each direction moves the rack piston in the cylinder bore of the steering gear. During this procedure, poppet sleeves on new or remanufactured genuine TRW steering gear are pressed to the appropriate position to match the steering angle set by the axle stops. The poppet seat and sleeve are a pressed fit, so the seat will stay in this set position until it is reset. With the poppet set to match the axle stops, system pressure will not exceed required levels once the axle stop is reached, preventing steering system and vehicle damage. Resetting Poppets, TAS, THP, and PCF Series Steering Gears. Poppets on TRW steering gears do not have to be reset unless the vehicle has been modified in such a way that the wheel cut for the vehicle is decreased. If the gear has a fixed stop bolt and you are decreasing the vehicle's wheel cut, you will need a poppet adjusting screw and jam nut. If the wheel cut is being increased, the poppets will reset automatically. In this case, refer to the poppet setting procedure. The poppet setting procedure for increasing wheel cut utilizes the same procedure as setting poppets on a new or remanufactured genuine TRW steering gear. Examples of modifications that require poppet resetting include changing to larger tires, reducing wheel cut for any reason, steer axle U-bolts were bent or broken, causing undesired increase in steering angle, the pitman arm was mistimed and was retimed, axle stop bolts were damaged and have been replaced, or when a steering gear has been removed from one vehicle and mounted on a different vehicle. Poppet resetting preparation. Before resetting the poppets, you must make sure the axle stop bolts are set to the vehicle manufacturer's wheel cut or clearance specifications. Set the steer tires to straight ahead and turn the engine off. Remove the poppet fix stop bolt and washer from the lower end of the housing and discard. If the gear has a poppet adjusting screw, that must be replaced, remove and discard. If a new poppet adjusting screw and nut are being used, turn the screw into the non-sealing end of the jam nut until the slotted or Allen end of the screw is flush with the face of the nut. If the adjusting screw is already part of the steering gear, 
Loosen the jam nut and drive the screw into the jam nut until the end of the screw is flush with the face of the jam nut. Tighten the jam nut against the housing. Refill the reservoir with recommended hydraulic fluid if necessary. Poppet resetting procedure. Start the engine and let it idle. Look at the output shaft timing marks and note which mark is closest to the housing piston bore. Turn the steering wheel in the direction that makes this timing mark move toward the adjusting screw that was just installed, steering until axle stop contact is made. Apply approximately 40 pounds of force to the rim of the steering wheel once contact has been made with the axle stop. This pushes the upper poppet to the full out position so it can be set automatically. To set the upper poppet, turn the steering wheel in the opposite direction, applying approximately 40 pounds of force to the rim of the steering wheel once at the end of travel. The timing mark on the output shaft will now point toward the input shaft. Release the steering wheel and turn off the ignition. With the engine off, loosen the jam nut and back out the adjusting screw one inch beyond the nut. Tighten the jam nut against the housing. This will set the adjusting screw temporarily out of the way so as not to contact the poppet during the following steering maneuver. Start the engine again and let it idle. Turn the steering wheel so that the timing mark on the output shaft points toward the adjusting screw until axle stop contact is made. Pull hard on the steering wheel and hold it in this position for no more than 10 seconds. Then release the steering wheel to allow the system to cool. Continue this hold and release process while the adjusting screw is being turned in. With the steering wheel held at full turn, loosen the jam nut and hold it with an open end wrench so it won't contact the housing. Turn in the adjusting screw using light finger pressure only until the adjusting screw comes to a stop. At this point, the adjusting screw has made contact with the poppet seat. When the adjusting screw comes to a stop, do not turn it in further. Instead, back the adjusting screw out three and a quarter turns and tighten the jam nut. Torque the jam nut to 35 foot-pounds. The final set position of the adjusting screw may be different for each vehicle due to axle settings, degree of axle cut reduction, and other factors. However, be aware of two important things. Leave the adjusting screw in the gear because it is now part of the steering gear assembly. The adjusting screw cannot stick out more than 1 and 1 16th inches beyond the jam nut for proper thread engagement. The resetting process is now complete. Lower the vehicle, remove the tire blocks, and fill the reservoir if required.